Hola amigos, welcome back. Hope you all are doing good. Today I will tell you about analog input and output model of Invance PLC. So without any further ado, let's get started. In this episode, I will show you reading and writing a input and output. Analog output, it can be 0 to 10 volt, 0 to 20 milliampere or 4 to 20 milliampere. So before making a program, you have to learn or memorize some important data registers. So guys, first of all, we will open a blank project. First, we will use a memory bit run monitor. Since the H1U can't auto identify the card it is necessary to set a specific register d8199 to start the execution of card at the beginning of the user program so this is the most important line move k5 d8199 expansion card number this you have to do at first of the program first i will show you how to write an analog output function so move, for example, K5000, D8221, this is analog output channel 1. So it's 0 to 10,000 is the scaling range for 0 to 10 volt. So if we, we give 5,000, then it will give 5 volt. And if we move K5000, D, Eight double two two, and this is analog output channel one. This is channel two. Now analog input reading. Move D eight two three two D ten. This is the analog input channel two, and this is the data register where we will get the ready and move d8231 d20 this is the analog output uh, channel 1 analog input channel 1 analog input channel 2 As you can see, the value has been moved from here to here. And this is the input here and this is the output here. This is the input here and this is the output here. So you have understood till now. Now I will show you how to write the frequency of a VFD. So according to the previous chart, we are going to write the frequency of a VFD. So first of all, we have to divide K10,000, the input range. Uh, with K50, the frequency range, and move the data to D10. So, this is the analog input scale, and this is the VFD maximum. So, 0 to 50 hertz is the VFD range normal. Now, we have to multiply D10 with D20, and we get the data in D30. Now, we have to move d30 to d8221 that is the analog output point one of channel one of the analog module now copy paste now move k0 to d20 now see here Whatever value we put here, k value, that will go to d20 and according to the multiplication, we will get the frequency output. So first of all, let's put 30 and download the program. Monitoring. 
Now, as you can see, the more value has moved 30 here and 30, and according to the division multiplication, 6000, the output value is 6000. Now, let's change it to 50. Again, download. Now, as you can see, the output is 10,000 full frequency. So, I hope you guys understood all. Thank you, guys. See you in my next video. Take care, guys. Adios, amigos.